Good evening, eighth graders. We're back to 5.3, example four. This is our very last example in this particular section. And of course, they, we always like to challenge you with application type problems. We're gonna do a consumer economics application. Let me read the situation to you. This is what it says. Sam spent $24.75 to buy 12 flowers for his mother. The bouquet contained roses, which are $2.50 each, and daisies, which are $1.75 each. How many of each type of flower did Sam buy? This is really important that you establish what your variables mean because we're actually tracking two different things, okay? So why don't we let, I'm actually not gonna use X and Y just for simplicity. I'm gonna use R for number of roses. And then I'm gonna use D for number of daisies, okay? Now, what may be a little difficult to understand is this type of problem, believe it or not, you can create a system of equations. Then, yes, there are actually two equations that you can write for this, and they both will be in standard form. Now, the first one, I'm going to circle this number right here, the 12 flowers. We know he got his mom 12 flowers. We just don't know how many of the 12 were roses and how many of them were daisies. We just don't know. So that, that very first equation is going to be R plus D is equal to 12. R being the number of roses, D being number of daisies, and some combination of numbers for roses and daisies is going to give us 12. It could be 0, 12, 1, 11, 2, 10, 3, 9. I don't know what the combination is, okay? So we're going to leave it as R plus D equals 12, okay? Now, the second equation has to do with the money, okay? We know how much he spent in all, so we know the total. That's going to go way over here, okay? We know he spent $24.75. And the only other thing we know is how much each flower cost. So we know the roses were $2.50 each, and we know the daisies were $1.75 each. Okay. So believe it or not, there, there are your two equations right there. And so now what we need to decide is how do we want to solve this thing? Now, we've been doing elimination. It's in the elimination section, so I'm going to show you using elimination how to do this. You don't have to eliminate. You could graph them. You could substitute. You could eliminate. Those are your three options. When they're in standard form, I tend to vacillate for elimination. So now you just got to make a decision for which variable do you want to eliminate. All right, let's target the R's, okay? So this top equation, we're going to need to multiply it by $2.50 because I need the same number in front of the R as it is in the bottom. So see in the bottom, it's $2.50. Right now I have a 1, an understood 1 there beside the R. So 1 times $2.50 will give me my $2.50. So we need to distribute this. Okay. Easy enough. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I've got 250R, I've got 250D, and then I've got to do $2.50 times 12. So I'm thinking that's probably $30 is probably what it's coming out to be. Okay. All right. Now, ask yourself this question. I'm looking at my R's. Do I have the same number or do I have opposite numbers in front of the R's now? Now hopefully you see I have the same number. So what you're going to have to do here, you are going to have to subtract. So put a subtraction sign in front of that bottom equation to remind yourself to subtract. Okay, nice and heavy and dark. We want to make sure it's not being mistaken for a negative sign, okay? 
So 250 minus 250, yeah, that cancels. I did that on purpose because I targeted the R's they should eliminate. So let's do $1.75 minus $2.50. So that's going to be negative 75 cents. And then let's do 24.75 minus 30. Okay, and I'll get negative 5.25. Okay, I'm not concerned. They're both numbers are negative. The negatives are going to cancel out, so I'm not really that concerned. So now let's divide each side by negative 0.75. So take that, let's back it up, negative 0.75, and I got D is 7. So apparently he bought 7 daisies for his mom. All right. Now, how do you find the roses? Well, I'm going to tell you, um, I would take the easiest equation up there. That's R plus D equals 12. And you're going to put 7 where the D is. And you're asking yourself, what plus 7 is 12? You're right. That's 5. So what he did was he bought 5 roses and 7 daisies for his mom. And that's how you solve that type of application problem. So the hardest thing is recognizing that it's going to end up being a system of equations. A lot of people see the one equation, but they don't see the other equation. So remember the first equation or one of the equations is how many of each kind of flower do we have? R plus D is 12. The second equation, well, how much do they cost and how much should I spend? And then you can solve it. All right, now on the next page, very last page, I've got one for you to try. It's very similar to what we just did. See what you can do with this. I'm going to give you extra credit. If you can set this up, I don't want to just see an answer. I want to see you set it up and work it out and show me the final answer along with work. All right? Hope that made sense. If not, bring your questions to class tomorrow, and we will figure it out. Thanks for listening.